Men. What are some basic hygiene habits that most men aren't aware of but should be? Cologne is meant to be discovered, not announced. Edit. Thank you for awards. Hope this actually is helpful information. Some guys like to put it on a little thick. Just a touch is all you need. A quick hint when you reach in close or brush up on someone does the trick. Edit. This is now my most awarded comment. Not gonna lie, feels good man. Take care of your teeth. Edit. I'm 45 years old. I started taking care of my teeth at 40. I did not give it enough importance. At first I was afraid to go to the dentist when I finally went my dentist told me that I could fix my teeth I thought it was going to be more serious I was lucky. My dentist removed cavities and only two teeth. I wore braces for two years and now my teeth are very nice. Now I feel more confident speaking. The best decision I made, never it's too late. Please keep your fingernails clean. That doesn't mean you suddenly have to go to the nail salon but don't leave caked in dirt under your sharp hangnails and then get into bed with your so. That shit hurts and can cause infection. Probably relevant to both genders but the belly button, clean that bitch out. Clean your feet, especially the toes. Nobody likes nasty stinks. Keep your nails clean. It's not feminine, it's good hygiene. If you find traditional flossing unbearable for whatever reason, invest in a water pick. You can put warm water in the chamber. It's smaller than your hands. I could never fit my ham hocks inside my mouth very far and provides very thorough flossing. Some guys won't wash their butthole. Please don't be one of those guys. Wash under your foreskin. Don't wear the same boxers for a week. Promise me, it's not cool at all nauseated face. You're asking men but as a woman I'm shocked how few of you clean your butts. What is up with all the crusty butts? If you have bad body odor that deodorant or showering doesn't seem to get rid of, shave your pits bacteria sticks to your hair and makes your bow much worse, plus makes deodorant work much better since it's being applied directly to the areas that actually cause odor and not to the hair. Not a man butt. Older gents out there, check your ear and nose hair every now and then. I know that shit seems to just pop up overnight, but it's really disconcerting. There are sinks in bathrooms for a reason. Use them. Wash your hands after using the bathroom. I don't care if you, didn't touch anything. If you're uncircumcised make sure to wash underneath the hood. I just took a shower, and after reading these comments I feel like taking another one lol. Talking to some of my male friends. To those of you who shave your faces, for the love of fuck, wash your faces before you shave. I thought this was more common knowledge, but I guess it isn't. At least anecdotally for me, no one does it. Call in slash dot. But if you give your face a nice wash in the shower before shaving, I usually do it when I'm washing my hair. It makes it much easier for the razor to just glide along your face and not feel like it's hanging up on everything like you're using an old, dull razor. Apparently a lot of guys don't wash their ass according to this sub. Wash. Your. Balls. If your hair is frizzy or fuzzy, wash it less. I have curly hair and I was always harassed about washing my hair even though I did it daily. Turns out I was stripping all of the oil and harming my hair. I shower daily but only wash it when it gets greasy, which is usually after a week. If you want to grow a beard, maintain it. Long beards still need maintenance. Also consult with the kind of people you're into to see how they like it. Too many dudes have short but unkempt beards. Clean under your nails. It will feel good and look good and your dates will notice. You've probably heard it, but brush your tongue to eliminate bad breath. That's where all the halitosis bacteria hang out. What's the strangest way you've seen someone naked, that also wasn't too traumatizing or serious? I was 10 years old and my mom accidentally took me and my brother to a nudist hot spring. This was in the mid-90s. Anyway, we found out it was a nude place when we walked down a path and there was this naked man in his 50s standing not unlike Michelangelo's, David, holding his towel over his shoulder. My mom gasped and sort of stopped us short and my brother, one year older than me, so, 11, says very loudly, check out the balls on that guy. The guy turned toward us, proudly. And my brother followed it up with, they're bigger than dads, ads 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 ads. The ads were the echoes that filled the forest landscape for all to hear. The man looked very proud. One afternoon around 2001-ish I took a break from work for a walk in the woods at a nearby nature center. About halfway through the walk I encountered a nudist walking the trail in the opposite direction. I honestly don't think he was expecting to run into anyone else in the park at that time of day because at first he tried to hide behind a tree but soon decided it was pointless and resumed his course. 
At the awkward moment we passed each other I accidentally blurted out the first casual words that popped into my head. How's it hanging? I was like 14 hanging out chilling with my friends and my one friend, a girl, just straight up asked me out of nowhere if I had ever seen a girl naked. I'm surprised I didn't lie and say yes to seem cool, but I just said no actually, I haven't yet. So she took me into the bathroom and got totally naked and let me stare at her for a few minutes lol. Friend's shower upstairs had an unnoticed leak in it that wasn't visible from the floor below. I was sitting in her living room, waiting on her so we could watch the Sunday game when I heard a scream, looked up, and my life flashed before my eyes as I watched my friend fall through the damn ceiling and land right on top of me, alongside half the fucking shower, and a couple gallons of water. I was far more traumatized at having the ceiling fall on me than her falling on me. There's a crazy mountain man who lives near my family cabin. His name is Fridge and he makes some great knives, grows a lot of his own food, makes wine and moonshine, and one time showed up nude in our yard to offer me a head of cabbage. We headed to the beach with our 11 yo son one day to find out there was a protest, where women were topless to protest the fact men could be shirtless at the beach, while they could not. I pulled my son aside and explained the situation and asked if the situation was too uncomfortable for him. He asked, they're still wearing bottom parts of the swimsuit, right? When I said yes, he let out a big breath, I'll be able to handle it then. I was roommates with a guy who was a worship leader at a nearby church. It was his 21st birthday, so of course we and a bunch of friends went out. While playing darts and completely wasted back at our house he started claiming his testicles were the size of eggs. Of course we didn't believe him, so he got one from the kitchen and dropped his pants to prove it. He wasn't wrong. I work in NYC as a tower crane operator. I literally 10 minutes before seeing this thread witnessed a man in nothing but a towel take selfies with his BMW i8 and then change right there on the sidewalk. My first GF's way of seducing me for our first time was to get naked and surprise tackle hug me. Was camping in a super remote area with friends and got restless and decided to go on a hike. Friend's daughter, around 10 yo, tagged along. The trail ran along a creek. We came around a corner and heard voices. I looked up and there were five naked men standing in ankle deep water. Four were pretty normal, but one guy was porn star huge. They hadn't seen us so I grabbed my friend's daughter and tried to spin her around for a quick retreat before she saw. Too late. She gasped. All five spun around to look at us. I distinctly remember Mr. Horscock's member whipping around in an arc, then bouncing back and forth from thigh to thigh multiple times. We retreated. Friend's daughter now loves to tell people about the time I showed her her first giant dick. In the church where I was music director, organist during college, I took the organ service man to the organ blower room in the basement so he could lubricate the equipment. There, soundly sleeping naked on a cot that hot summer day, was the sexton totally unaware that we saw him. I just quietly relocked the door and discreetly left so that we wouldn't embarrass him. The organ service man said he'd return another day during cooler weather to lubricate the organ and that hopefully the sexton wouldn't be in evidence. I was hanging out with a buddy and his wife one night. We were all drinking and I got a little too drunk. Was looking for the bathroom and stumbled into the wrong room. In that room was a naked girl collared, gagged, in a doggy crate. I was pretty drunk but that was definitely what I saw. I leave and ask my buddy about it. They were pretty into BDSM and that was their live in BDSM slave. I was in university and I'd just come back to my dorm after a night out drinking. I got to my room and I just felt something was off. I think the door was ajar or it wasn't locked or something. I distinctly remember the feeling of excitement at the prospect that a girl I was into had let herself into my dorm and was waiting for me. The feeling intensified as I went into my room and saw there was a shape under the covers of my bed. The lights were off and it was quiet. I reached the bed and pulled the cover back to reveal the girl of my dreams. Only to find my the stark naked body of my drunken friend who had bailed on the party and ran home. I would say, old guys at the YMCA, who walk around the change room. Some of them will put their foot onto a bench so they can dry their balls after they shower. And with the older guys their balls hang low and sometimes they have long gray hair on the nutsack. Got to be honest, the first few times was kind of off-putting. Then it occurred to me to these guys have been walking around this very YMCA since they were 8 or 9 years old. So for that it was completely normal. I was at a friend's house with another buddy. We were in 8th grade, and friend's sister just walks into his room, 
takes off her shirt and asks us if we think she has nice boobs. We stare for a few seconds and say yes. She just turned around and walked out. 2006 NFL Draft at Radio City Music Hall in NYC. Back then you had to wait in line for 6-10 hours to get tickets. Took my preteen sons to the draft and were in the waiting line and across the street was a restaurant on the second floor with a long glass wall. We're waiting and this 400-pound woman in a bright lime green outfit is walking into the restaurant. Her outfit was bright enough to catch everyone's attention. She stops and decides it is a good time to let the puppies breathe. She flashes a crowd of 100,150 for a good 15 seconds and a few 12-year-olds got their first true New York experience. When I was a kid, I had a great uncle, my dad's uncle. He was a really nice old guy who was injured in WW2. Anyway, he visited one evening, and decided to spend the night, instead of driving home. Next morning, I walked into the bathroom and saw a naked one-legged man in the shower. I was just about to leave for my last final in undergrad. I open the door at the exact roommate my roommate opens his door, naked. He ignores me and runs down the hallway to the kitchen. I look in his room and see his naked girlfriend having a diabetic seizure on the floor. Roommate comes running back with glass of OJ and is all, don't worry this happens every time she drinks, it's okay. Neither of them were ugly, per se, but my mindset was so thrown by the one-two punch that I bombed the final. In 2000, I was in Berkeley, California. I was rounding the corner from Jack in the Box, and saw a woman standing on the street, wearing nothing but flip-flops and sunglasses. Not traumatizing but more like an okay. Moment. When I was 10, I went in the hospital for tests and befriended a nun who was also in for some procedures. One morning I went down the hall to see her and when I peeked in the door she was being prepped for something and had a hospital gown on that was wide open in the back, and she was facing away from the door. She was a large woman so I saw a lot of nun. 